Welcome. Dynamic Homes on location here today. Dave Oney here for TV3 along with Tim Olson. And, and uh, uh, it, it's so fun to see exciting new projects that Dynamic Homes has been involved with. And, and uh, we were mentioning earlier how uh, the, the whole custom, the customizing aspect of construction is becoming a huge part of what Dynamic Homes now does. Yeah, that's for, that's for sure. The, um, the ability to customize has brought us into a whole different uh, category of home and um, one thing that's been really uh, a fun and interesting part of this whole transition over the years is um, getting so many ideas from homeowners you know they they have specific things that they like and and in this home it was a, just a, a wealth of things that we'd never done before and it was it was fun mm -hmm. it was really fun to do that and it gives us that experience to down the road we can you know, suggest some of these things to other homeowners. So now, does a, a homeowner come to you with with an idea? Do they come uh, to you with with a possible floor plan, or where does it where does it start? Oftentimes, there is a floor plan on the front end that we uh, that we will develop into a, um, our our working plans to use the the modular system. Sometimes there's just criteria. Some homeowners they know what they want, but they can't put it on paper. So they'll give us some descriptions and then we'll develop a plan and at least you have a starting point then. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think a key word to remember is, uh, is options. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the wood selection, the wood choices, the colors, uh, so many different uh, things that people can do that uh, you know, a, a layperson just doesn't necessarily think about. Yeah, and, and some of the woods that, that are kind of becoming uh, more popular, I mean, oak has been around forever, and up in the north woods here, everybody, got, you know, oak is still a predominant wood, but this house has predominantly alder in it. So we have a three-panel mission uh, alder doors with, uh, with flat uh, cabin cut tape alder trim. The cabinets in the kitchen are alder. Now you can see the wood behind us, the, uh, the um, vertical, uh, that's actually pine. Okay. And we had the pine tinted to blend in with the alder. So I thought it, it, it all tied together pretty nicely. It really is nice in here. Okay. And you were mentioning windows too. This beautiful room has a lot of nice glass and, and uh, some customized sizing and, and oh, yeah. things for that as well. Yeah, and windows are important to almost every homeowner. You know, the, every lot has views specific, uh, you know, specific sides of the home. Obviously here we're facing the lake. So we have some nice fixed glass here on the main floor and then some trapezoid windows above these uh, in the uh, gable of the loft area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, I think you were saying that this home is about 3,000 square feet. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah okay. it's 3,000 square feet. Um, the, it's four bedrooms and it's got three baths and okay. it's, uh, um, a loft style, so you have uh, uh, the main floor is probably around eighteen or nineteen hundred, and then the upstairs is around twelve hundred. Okay, and uh, this was constructed uh, constructed in in stages. Is that uh, yeah. what you had mentioned? Yeah, there was five modules for this home. Okay, and um, th um, they set it all in one day, and it, you know it's it's we're we sell a lot of these now. These loft homes they're they're becoming uh, very popular, so they're one of our one of our better sellers, so we we get pretty good at at uh, bringing these to the site and getting them set and getting everything tied together. Mm -hmm. Are there limits as far as sizing for uh, particular homes or or floor plans that people may have? There are there are limits as far as the um, the size or width of the module, but as far as the house design, there are there's not much. You know, as long as we can uh, convert it into a module uh, system there isn't much we can't do. Okay, okay. Now, if someone has an idea uh, for a home, whether they have a, a floor plan in mind or they have those ideas up in their head, what's, what's their, their first uh, plan of action? Who do they go to see? Well, number one, they should, uh, they should uh, contact a Dynamic Homes dealer. And um, the, the dealer here was Anderson Homes in Sabika. Okay. And um, they have, they're our, annually our largest dealer. They sell the most homes. And uh, they're pretty much do the, the whole western part of the state and into the eastern Dakotas. You know, they'll go distances as well. So they're, they've done a great job. Um, we also have a website. So if, uh, you know, you're 
too far from Anderson, we have all of our dealers on our website, dynamichomes.com. Okay. So you okay. can find dealer information on there. Lots of questions answered there. I'm sure a number of homes that uh, you've worked on over the years that oh, yeah. uh, people can check out and yep. and uh, you know examine. So, well, Tim, good to have you with us. Uh, a beautiful home here, and we encourage people to consider uh, and explore what dynamic homes can do can do for them. So. Thanks for joining with us. Thank and you, Dave. Thank you for watching, and, and uh, we'll see you again soon.